What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerf here, and today we're going to be spectating and commentating on a ranked match between two excellent Scrolls players, Dialex and Chief Bromden, also both are members of the Badger Guild. And uh, sorry if you hear, like, banging in the video. Um, work is uh, being done in my house right now, so you might hear some construction. But, yeah, so... Looks like Dialex is playing Growth. It has Earthborn Keepers, which are more like aggressive and like one Captain X, but also has God Hands, which are pretty costly. So I'm not. So I guess this deck goes more towards a late curve. These are the God Hands, so I suspect Quakes and Fertile Soils as well. But we'll have to see. But the Earthborn Keeper definitely more a more aggressive deck drop. And I mean Braves really go in any Growth deck because they're just amazing. And the game I th think should be starting in just a second so although he's a god hand in a starting hand which he probably doesn't want i think he's going to want to keep this starting hand because he can go with a brave into earthworm keeper so i believe he's going to keep it and he is going first which is definitely an advantage especially for growth getting that turn two brave and your opponent might not have anything to deal with it and chief bromden has been doing very well in recent tournaments you can see he had some ladder success uh because he has this head, and Dialex has been a very good Scrolls player for a long time now, and this should be a great matchup. I'm not sure what deck Chief Bromden is playing just yet. We should find that out when we see his starting hand. So we have no bias in this matchup. They're both Badgers, and I was correct. Dialex deck does run quicks, and he does mulligan. I mean, this hand is also very good because he has a uh, turn 2 eventual better and he can go turn 3 and he has a Kinfolk veteran soon. So this is Decay, Mono Decay so far. He has Curse Presence, a pretty normal curve, and he had a pretty uh, pretty good starting hand. And Dialex plays the turn 2 eventual better and Chief Bromden notably does not have a Soul Steel in hand for that or a Languid, so he wishes he had one now. But he's still going to be able to follow that Charizard up with a turn 3 Rot Eater. And now... Dialex will likely play the Earthborn Keeper this turn. He could play like the Brave, but especially against he sacrificed the Brave against the Kev because of things like Languid and Soul Steel, which notably Chief Bromden has neither which in his hand. He does have Infectious Blight and Curse Presence, so we could see some big poison going around soon. But this turn's just a Rod Eater turn, um, and that four health tribesman should do a good job protecting Chief Bromden. But Dialex does draw two racked wolves, but there's not really much they're going to be able to do. If he really wanted to, he can take down the tribes in this turn, but I think he might rather just get some resources by having the Vengeful Letter hit the hit the idol and play the Earthborn Mystic. The Earthborn Mystic was a good draw, um, because he's able to play 3-drop this turn. Um, unfortunately, he did have to sacrifice his, uh, his Kinfolk Veteran. Um, but he does play both Ragdolls to take out the tribesmen. I mean... It is always nice to just take out creatures when you can, especially humans in Decay when the Witch Doctor's not out yet. And Chief Bromden having some removal in his hand. He could simply just get a Blight Bearer out, he can get an Infectious Blight going. Um, he's a damage curse, but I don't think he would use that on any of Dialex's current, current units, current creatures. So he gets rid of the damage curse, seeing that there's no big threats just yet, and he just plays a Blight Bearer right in front of the Rider. So he's just trying to protect the Rod Eater a little bit. And now Dialex has some nice creatures to play this turn. He moves before playing the creatures. I don't know, he's going to sacrifice the resources, or he sacrifices the bear for scrolls. So he actually wants to, uh, he uses resources less efficiently, and he played um, a three-cross creature instead of a four-cross creature there. And there, Chief Ronan playing the Infectious Blight. So denying one extra resource for Dialex, because that Venture Letter was going to hit an idol most likely. And now Dialex has to get rid of one of the God Hands, because he has two in his hand that he doesn't really want right now, and he's able to play a Nognus and a Mystic this turn. And notably, the Mystic is going to increase the attack of the Infectious Blighted unit every turn. So that could come in handy for him, but I mean, Infectious Blight still might hurt. And it's also on the Myst, and if it goes on a Mystic, when the Mystic has one health, then the Mystic can likely get rid of the Infectious Blight by sacrificing herself to deal damage to herself. But, Chief Bromden has a Cursed Presence, which will curse this three, and then it will die next turn to the Infectious Blight because the Poison will deal four damage. So I suspect a Cursed Presence this turn. Um, 
and maybe a soul steal on the or no he sacrificed for scrolls so he just cursed resins probably darkling and then he has a good setup for the following two turns with oblivion seeker into witch doctor so historically decay has really pounced on growth because of scrolls like rot eater witch doctor and harvester that growth can't really deal with too well um especially late game growth isn't as good as, against decay as uh aggro growth at least in my experience and we haven't seen dialects run any ancestral totems yet which are really a really good scroll against decay for growth so he's just gonna take out the the loyal darkling and he really hopes that chief Dialex hopes that chief roman takes down the infectious blighted uh unit so that the blight goes away but i'm pretty sure chief roman would rather just take out the Nognest, which it looks like he's doing. And is he just going to play the Oblivion Seeker this turn? No, he damning curses. And that was a um, good play because he damning cursed uh, a Mystic, which was probably going to draw Dialect a card. And what that did is dealt one damage to his own Blight Bear, which destroyed it, poisoning both units on this row. And unfortunately for Dialects, he did not draw like a Crimson Bull or something to punish the open Rod Eater. So he's not quite able to get rid of it. Almost able to get rid of it, though. But now Chief Promenum can, be, can get a uh, Oblivion Seeker or a Curse Monger in front of it. He goes for the Soul Steal. And, well, by Soul Stealing there, he doesn't have any way to protect that Rod Eater, and he's going to lose it. Most likely to, like, a Ragged Wolf or something, because those units are dying, though. So, that was a risky play with that Soul Steal. We'll see if it pays off for him, if his Rod Eater can survive this turn. And now, Dialex might just play the Sister Fox first to draw a scroll, which he does. And he just doesn't go for scrolls hoping for a Ragged Wolf or, or um, originally he could have gone for scrolls or a Veteran. He just makes a safe play and plays the, plays the Wetland Ranger. And now Chief Bromden can protect that Rod Eater. Notably, he did sacrifice the Witch Doctor a bit earlier. Uh, I, I really never sacrifice Witch Doctors against um, Growth because they're just so hard to get through unless you have like a Rumble. Which Dialex deck probably doesn't have because it's more like late game Growth. Rumble's more of an aggro Growth scroll. But there's Chief Roman finally protecting the Rider. He did also get rid of, he also got rid of the Oblivion Seeker. He's not valuing the humans in Decay as much as I do against Growth. Um, and now... He has an Earthen Mirth. He could actually play the Earthen Mirth to take out the Harvester, but he elects to just play the Fang Bear, which right now has one attack because there's, all, there's no humans on Chief Bromden's board. And that Nognes is set to go off this turn, so that's more Nogs for Dialects. And now he still elects to not get a Witch Doctor out, but it's I think another Infectious Blight this turn is actually going to be pretty good. Going to take out the other Sister of the Fox. So both Sister of the Fox going down with Blight this turn. Now there's two Blights going around the field for Dialects. It's going to be hard for him to get rid of them. We ha we see a Frost Gale. That could be a Blight uh, getter ridder of her. <laughs> we, don't, we haven't seen any Fertile Soils, I don't think. So Fertile Soil is like a great way to get rid of Blight because you're also drawing scrolls out of it. And there's a Frost Gale, which uh, Dialects uses to get rid of that giant Rot Eater Chief Bromden has. But it also hurts his board quite a bit in the process and I suspect probably just a but oh instead of playing the wild ranger he decides to play both the brave and the ventral better and he gets the pillage effect on his uh wetland ranger and chief brown I don't think I mentioned this he is splashing erode for an easy way to take out uh two health structures like ancestral totem or deal some extra damage to structures because decay has a very hard time against structures so erode can come a long way and you get some extra ramp so I've seen a lot of people splash that. And still electing to not get a Witch Doctor down. He's just trying to slow down Dialects from hitting those idols. With Poison and Languid. He does get a Little Darkum down to protect his Harvester from getting veteran or something. And there is a Fertile Soil. So Dialects does have Fertile Soils. And he will likely, yeah, Fertile Soils, his languided, Infectious Blighted, uh, wetland ranger so definitely good fertile soil there and Dialex doesn't feel bad about moving up with his infectious blighted fang bear because he, he kind of wants this harvester to kill the infectious blight and there's another nog nest 
and he just hits the Eidos for some big damage here on round 12. And there's another Infectious Blight to replace the one Dialects got rid of. We'll see if he wants to get it down this turn or what. He goes for Growth, goes for the Erode, knowing that he can go with an Erode the following turn again to take out that Nog Nest. And he does elect to take out the Infectious Blight on that Fang Bear, probably maybe fearing like a rally for it or something like that. But And he also takes out Middle Idol, which is good, but not super important um, for the decay, for the decay player in this matchup. Really, once Chief Don like controls the board with a Witch Doctor, um, and his idols haven't taken that much damage, he's got the game. And Dialex goes for Scrolls. He knows his uh, he doesn't have like like a, another fertile soil for this brave, but he's able to. Clear Chief Ronan's board and get a pillage effect. So now he's at seven resources, which he can play God Hand next turn, which could win the game. So if if Chief Bronman doesn't protect his idols, that could be the end of him. Gets rid of the Witch Doctor yet again. Now what's wrong with the Witch Witch Doctor, Chief? There is a languid on the on the. Uh, Bone Ranger and a Brain Lice, and is that game with a God Hand? What does this guy go to? One? Yeah, it's game. Four attack, four attack, one attack is nine, and then four attack. Oh, he had game, he had GG. Uh, Dialects, I, I believe that's a Miss Lethal, right? Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, because that's four attack, one attack, four attack, that's nine damage, and then four there. But it was actually a um, smart play to use that rally now, though. Even though he's not increasing his damage that much for this turn, the Vengeful Vetter killing itself from the pillage effect is another good way to get rid of Infectious Blight. But I mean, I believe Jylex did have Lethal last turn, so we'll see if it comes back to bite him, which it could, considering this Brave is going to go down to Poison. And now he goes and plays both the Balloon Seeker and the Rot Eater, and he has a follow-up Necrogeddon if he needs to, which he would also draw scrolls from. And now uh, Dialex is going to try to take down two more idols. He goes for resources, and he's probably going to play a veteran and a sharp fang barrel. Let's see if he is a veteran to kill the Oblivion Seeker. It would give Sheepron some extra scrolls and then buff the Rot Eater. He does. But it's always nice, like I said, to get rid of the humans in Decay when the Witch Doctor is not out. And now Chief Bronman has to find a way to uh, really start to control this board. He has Languid, Tribes, and those are good starts. Gets rid of the Water of the Necrogens. He has a Watcher Gun in his hand, which could actually come with a surprise win in the game considering the Middle Idol is already destroyed for Chief Bromden. There is a Brain Lice, which uh, Infinite Poison will probably eventually destroy that Fang Bear. And then, but actually the Cursed Presence will destroy that Fang Bear right now. And now Dialex has the God Hand Veteran Crimson. He can go Veteran Crimson Bull, he can go God Hand. Um, we'll have to see what he wants to do. I don't think he has Lethal. He has a Fertile Soil, but I don't think there's any Infectious Blight going around right now, so he doesn't really need to use it just yet. So now it'll be interesting what he does here. He just God Hands. He goes ahead and God Hands, which takes out um, Chief Bromden's board, and uh, that's the turn. So now Chief Bromden could get the Halls going. He has Halls of Omlasso, which will like slowly... He's, he's all... Actually... Dialex does have more resources than Chief Bromden, so Halls of Omlasa would uh, do a good job of getting him up there. And there's a second Halls of Omlasa. We'll see if he wants to just get the Halls of Omlasa out, or he's going to go Life Steal or Soul Steal, which he does. So I think he wants to make sure he's protecting those idols. And now there is a Rally Crimson Bull, which would clear Chief Bromden's board. We'll see if he wants to do that just to take out those two creatures. And he gets rid of the rally. Inter interesting choice there. Uh, most, people, most players like to hold on to all their countdown reduction in the late game because it just every turn you gotta have uh, those units attacking. But he just goes with the veteran stag heart, which is actually a better play. 
I'm sorry, guys. I thought he was. Uh, I thought Riley Cousin Bowl was gonna be better. But he actually made the better play with the, a veteran stag heart, so he could keep the Crimson Bull, and he has some stronger units on the board, which was also a board clear. And that's another languid on this Wellinger. He was just being denied. But uh, these strong units on uh, Dialex's board doesn't have any damage curses in, his ha in hand. He gets down um, a couple, a couple humans. And now he's gonna want a Witch Doctor very soon, but. There is a Ragged Wolf Crimson Bolt in his hand, which will be another board clear this turn if he wants to. He also has a couple Fertile Soils, so he gets rid of one of them. So we'll look to see the Ragged Wolf Crimson Bolt and maybe a Brave as well to clear the board. Because this guy would go to one attack, and then Ragged Wolf would have three attack. So that's going to take that stuff out. Or he could... Uh, he could have fertile soil. Nah, he wouldn't. He wouldn't fertile soil this like giant veteran. But now he's pressuring the whole board, so it's very tough for Chief Bromden to get a handle on this game. He has a soul steal for that brave. He wants to find a damning curse to get rid of this big kinfolk veteran. I'm sure he wishes the halls of Olmasa was flowing right now. He gets rid of that one. Plays soul steal and. Oblivion Seeker, right in the middle there. I would be tempted to actually play the Oblivion Seeker towards somewhere else to protect it until you have the Witch Doctor behind. I'm not sure if Chief Roman's fully, uh, fully realizing the power of Witch Doctor plus humans against growth. Is a Frost Gale God Hand the win? It. It isn't. It's close. But I don't think it is. I think he's one damage short in the middle idol. Oh, yeah. He's actually, he could... He's either one damage short in the middle idol. Or one damage short in the bottom idol. Welp. He may have thought that was game. Because he, basically he emptied his hand to do that. And he actually hurt his board quite a bit with that frost scale. So I think he thought that was going to be the game. So now Chief Bromden has a chance to just get a Witch Doctor down. But he, I could definitely see him rather than just play a Oblivion Seeker Harvester to get two units down instead of one. Or Life Stealer Harvester. We'll see what he does. He goes with the Harvester. And you can see the Oblivion Seeker probably. He might actually just need extra health instead of the three healthy Oblivion Seeker. Yeah, he plays the Life Stealer for extra health. And he moves the Oblivion Seeker in the back row. Okay, there's a Fertile Soil. Plays it on the Ragged Wolf. And now he has some more creatures to play this turn. But man, Chief Bromden is hanging on by a thread. His idols are split up. His idols are two in one health. Dialex has a Quake. I don't think he'll be using it though. Unless it's like for a win. And he just plays the Bear. And Dialex does have a Crimson Bolt for next turn, that hurts him. Chief Bromden has a Necro get in, which doesn't do him a whole lot. It would also cause him to leave his idols open, which can be easily taken down by growth with veterans and ragged wolves. But now Chief Bromden does have a damning curse, but it would take out his Oblivion Seeker. But that means that the Harvester counts down by two. We'll see what he wants to do. I think uh, he definitely has to just get this Witch Doctor down um, before these before this Life Sealer dies. But unfortunately, with the list, which the Witch with the Witch Doctor being six six uh, costs, it's hard to play things with her. Um, the only possible play with her would be a Brain Lice, which wouldn't do too much good this turn. So, I think the play might be he goes for Scrolls, and now he has a Soul Steal, which is pretty good drop to get rid of this veteran so I think this is gonna be a soul steel soul steel infectious blight turn I don't know soul steel protects the top idol and he might just be giving up his harvester here he actually could oh he could damning curse both of these would die yeah so he went with a damning curse there and um, because of the, by soul stealing first um, an extra unit died and he could 
get this harvested to attack. So now Dialux is left with one little button ranger on the board. And now he has quite a few scrolls to work with. He's just gonna start by building up his board presence once again. Um, remember he just has to hit one more idol. So he's gonna hope to somehow bash in, but it's gonna be hard for him, I think. But if we just see Chief Run and why did he sacrifice the Witch Doctor? I don't know. I don't know what he has against Witch Doctors. Witch Doctors are the bane of growth's existence. And in all like the the growth decay matches I used to play, once that witch doctor comes down with like a human in front of it, it's game. Unless you get like an incredibly lucky rumble. And Chief Bromden plays a watcher in front. Interesting. Rot eater right in the middle. And probably get an infectious blight going, it looks like. He is at four four uh I mean nine resources now. Notably also likes to keep sacking the Hazal Masa. I understand that he doesn't want to really really sacrifice a whole turn without doing much um, against growth because one one sort of turn that you really miss is just tough. And that is going to be the game. The God Hand with the Kinfolk Brave gives enough damage to bash through, destroy the Harvester Watcher, and the Idol. So that was a very close game towards the end. I, I actually thought Chief Brownman was going to get a hold on the game. Um, maybe if he started playing some Witch Doctors, he would have, because those those husks are just almost like an unlimited defense. But uh, a well-played game for both sides nonetheless. I guess I am a little happy that Dialex won, considering he missed, he missed a lethal earlier in the match, so it would be really tough to see him lose. And that will be it for today. So like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content like this, and... I will see you all tomorrow.